Saluton. Do you know Esperanto? Maybe you'll invent a cosmic Esperanto. Oh yes, almost forgot. A royal present for the hardworking prince. But we felt bashful about handing it to you, so we left it on Earth for you to pick up. Look at that smile. Look at that fucking coy smile. With your fat cheeks and ball chin. You can roll it up while you're making the moon. Holy shit, we're literally gonna make the fucking moon. That's insanity, dude. Movies, programs, elephants. Why elephants again? Okay, look at that fucking squid. That squid will be mine. It will be mine. Today you'll be rolling around the world. The world? We have to be 300 meters? Ah, oh my god, that's ridiculous. Karamari should be 300 meters. And he said we're rolling around the world. We're going to start picking up islands for sure. Let's do this. We believe you 25 minutes. Holy shit. 25 fucking minutes. I can take that room with it. Oh, watch it cut it super close though. Like it literally takes ex like exactly 25 minutes to do this. Because that's huge. 300 meters. Like that's... That's crazy. Oh, it's using like the Katamari Damacy intro theme song. You know this has to be the last level. Like it's just gotta be. I'm gonna get, these, I'm gonna get all these salmon. Cause they make me pretty big. Nope, can't get those. <gasps> hiccups, go away hiccups, nobody wants you. Is that a hammer? It's a little toy hammer. Oh, it's a funny hammer. I'm so stoked right now. We get to make the fucking, oh man, that is a fat patriotic dude. Typical American. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Not really. Is that a girl on stilts or a girl with really long legs? Because I do like a girl with really long legs. Just girl parading around some cows. Okay. Okay. Fried rice. Dude, I love fried rice. I love Japanese cooking in general. I think it's because I grew up living with obviously living with my parents but like my mom's japanese and she is also like a really good cook and she would always make japanese food every time she made food because it's like all she knew because she lived in japan like her whole life and her mom taught her how to cook and all she knew how to make is japanese food so like she would make japanese food literally all the fucking time and that's what I grew up on, so I love Japanese food. I don't like Mexican food, it's too spicy for me, because Japanese food isn't spicy at all. So I never, I, I've never been like exposed to a lot of spicy food, and so I'm not used to it. And so when I try to eat spicy food, it's horrible. It burns my fucking mouth like crazy. But I've gotten pretty decent at eating like a little spicy food. Like I can, I can tolerate mild Tostitos, Tostitos salsa. I used to not be able to tolerate that because it was too spicy, but I can actually eat it now and be fine. There's literally nothing here for me to pick up. This is bad. I gotta find some shit to pick up, like pronto. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Man, that giant squid is just eyeballing me over there. See that fucking eyeball? Okay, we got a little bigger. It's dope. And I'm starting to see more stuff that I can get. Let's get this daikon. Daikon is very good in Japanese dishes. It's like really crunchy onions kind of that's a really bad example of what like an analogy for it or like a I don't know I don't really know how to explain daikon it's like it's like uh it's soft but crunchy at the same time depending on how long you boil the shit and it's like packed with flavor and it tastes really good in like miso soup oh man this is just making me want miso soup it's making me want Japanese food it's making me want food in general I'm like I'm a monster when it comes to eating I don't eat a lot in one sitting, but I eat like all throughout the day because I don't really have a big stomach, so I can't eat a lot in one sitting, which makes me hungry more, like sooner than most people would get hungry. Like I gotta eat like every three fucking hours or else I starve to death. Literally, I get like really agitated and upset and I feel like I'm losing mass every second that I feel hungry. It's kind of crazy, like how absurd my thoughts process is on being hungry and not being able to eat like it really pisses me off <laughs> i don't know i just it's like i'm i'm allergic to being small now I, I do not want to be small anymore i've been small like my whole fucking childhood my whole life as i explained prior to this 
and like I don't I think like the reason I took it so seriously when I first started in high school like lifting weights and eating and stuff was because I was so fucking tired of being known around the school known by friends as like the small Asian kid like that it sucks dude it sucks being known as like the smallest kid in the school or like the small Asian kid especially like Asians are already kind of small hmm three meters still just a maybe me well you know what we're gonna be 300 meters in like 20 minutes so shut your mouth we're like three meters huh we were three meters last game and everything went pretty smooth after that I'm really not that big though right now how big do you have to be to do this okay cool um, I actually have no idea how big you had to be I just kind of went through it what the fuck is going on over here no don't run for me I need you I need you Yes. A judo wrestler. Come on. Stop getting stuck on shit. Uh, speaking of lifting weights, did you see that barbell I just picked up? Yeah, that had to have been like 135. Not really. It just says barbell. It doesn't say the weight. So I can't tell you how strong I am. Oh, stop it. Oh, that was a guy, too. That sounded like a chick. He's like, Ooh, stop it. I mean, I can do a pretty good girl voice, too, but... I mean, I'd be like, Fucking stop it right now! <laughs> if something was like pissing me off, I wouldn't be like, "Ooh, stop it!" That sounds provocative. That, that's like one of those "Ooh, stop it"s that means keep going. <laughs> no, sir, I don't want to go anywhere near you, Mr. Towel Guy. That's provocatively telling me to keep going. I don't know what your where your mind is. It's obviously in the fucking gutter. He, he just likes the big balls, man. What can I say? He likes the big balls. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, I hit a car. Didn't even realize it. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's a building. What is that building doing just fucking shifting side to side? Get out of here. Okay, obviously when we're big enough to pick up trees, that marks like the end of the world. <laughs> Literally the end of the world because apparently we're going to be traveling. He said we're going to be rolling up around the world, dude. Five meters. I gotta start finding small trees. Small trees are what gets me big every time. Don't take that out of context. Um, can I pick up cars? Oh, I can pick up small cars. I can pick up small trees, but I want to be able to pick up like the tree trees. But I don't think there are any in this map. I see like the these trees. Oh yeah, these are the trees that I'm talking about. Those ones right there. No, it's not. I'm lying to myself and you guys. I'm pretty sure the trees I'm talking about are like more round and green on the top. Um, giant mushrooms are probably still too big. Can I get these guys? Oh, hell yeah. I get the ox. Can't get the giraffe. They're still too tall. As you can see from this graph. Picture of giraffe. <coughs> this graph. Man, I love Spongebob. Have I ever mentioned that? I think I did. I mentioned it at like the very end of a video. I was like, I watch Spongebob almost every day with my breakfast, and I'm not even ashamed. I, st I don't even do that anymore. I don't have... It's not, it's not like I don't have time to watch Spongebob every morning. It's just I've been getting really, like, I don't know. Like, lax, I guess. I don't know. I've gotten to the point where I really don't want to go to work anymore because I hate my jobs. Because <laughs> I've been working at the same places for, like, six months. And I just really don't like working there anymore, and so it's hard to get out of bed in the morning and actually go to work whenever I have to. Like, I still do it, but I usually don't have enough time to, like, enjoy my breakfast like I used to. Which kind of sucks, but it's just how it is. So, I'm glad I'm finally leaving those places. Thank fucking God. Ugh. Ugh. Bad management, disorganized. Way too fucking busy, always running out of shit. Like, that was, that was basically the epitome that's like a general description of both jobs that I worked at. It sucked, man. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's in working for like people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's like, you're the fucking boss. I'm the worker. You're supposed to be managing things and making things good for your workers. And you can't even do that. Why are you manager? I don't fucking know. I'm leaving. Goodbye. That's basically how it goes. For me, anyways. I'm a very straightforward person, as you can tell. I just kind of say what's on my mind. I don't really usually hold back what I want to say. If, if I like, if I really need somebody to know something, regardless of whether it's mean or not, I'll let them know. Um, I won't criticize people or anything like that. I won't just be like, hey, you're fat. You should probably go to the gym and diet a little bit. 
I don't do that kind of stuff, but like, if a friend asks me to be honest, or a stranger, not even a stranger, just like, people in general ask me to be honest with them, I, you're asking for a lot of, you're not asking me to do something that's very difficult for me, I will be completely honest with you, I'm a very honest person, I'm very loyal, and that's just how I am, I'm very straightforward, say what I mean, and I mean what I say, oh, I can get your ass now, hell yeah. There's no trees, though. I can't abuse the trees. Oh, we got big enough. 12 meters, bro. Still barely crawling. See, that makes sense, because we gotta get to 300 motherfucking meters. I can get these, right? Yeah. Just got something called, like, an ancient something or another. Oh, cootie cootie bear. Cootie cootie bear, I can't get it. Ox. Ancient tree. Oh, that's what it was. Ancient tree. Oh, I'm sorry. I just plucked an ancient tree straight out of the fucking ground. And I just lost one. Great. Whoa. Stay up. Stay up. Giraffe. Why is there a house on top of this building? I don't fucking know. This game doesn't make sense. It never has and never will. What the hell is that? I could have sworn I just saw like a jet following me or something. Oh, we're probably big enough to pick up small houses now, right? If not small houses, we can at least pick up like bigger trees. Oh, we're almost up to par with that squid. That squid is going to be mine by the end of this. I swear it. And I didn't even notice there was an air balloon over here. Oh, we can pick up the mushrooms now. Fuck yeah. Still can't get that damn bear balloon thing, though. It's kind of annoying, especially because it's just... It's like in the worst possible fucking spot. Oh, now there are these... Tr oh my god, climb, dude! That's one thing I can't stand about this game, is the climbing is atrocious. Because you have to be, like, completely still in order to climb something. Which is really hard to do when you already have momentum and you're heading towards something. Oh yeah, we can pick up the trees now. Which means this world has come to an end. Sorry world, but you're done for. I can pick up trees now. That is like, that was the barrier <laughs> that was keeping you alive. But not anymore. I never got Ultraman last time, but I think we'll probably be able to do it this time. Oh, they're giant squid everywhere. I thought it was going to be like a rare thing, like a goal to shoot for, but nah. Looks like it's just a thing that's here. Darn. I thought that squid had three eyes. It's not, and it's got two eyes, and then like a blowhole mouth. I gotta scratch my nose so bad. Ugh. God, that was a submarine that just jumped out behind the shortfish. 60 meters? Oh, is that the world? So we have to get to 60 meters before we explore the world? Alright, that's the goal then. Gotta hit 60 meters ASAP so I can have as much time as possible to explore the world. Breakwater blocks. That squid is making a weird ass noise when I touch it. I just don't know. Oh, if we can, if we can get up there, then we're golden. That will easily get me like gigantic, just like last time. First, we gotta. Well, I gotta get up to that size to climb that wall. Oh shit! Oh shit! These buildings are making me really big, really quick. Once again, do not take that out of context. Or you'll be very displeased. Or maybe really happy and crawling on the floor with laughter. I, I don't know. I don't know what your humor is. Maybe if it's the same as mine, you enjoy my videos more. Because you know what's really weird and probably narcissistic as fuck? Is that I enjoy watching my own videos. Like when I'm editing my videos and like quality assuring seeing them. I like enjoy myself while I'm watching my own videos. I like laugh at my own shit. It's kind of weird, but I think it's just because my sense of humor is obviously the funniest that it can get because it's my sense of humor, you know? Like, <laughs> what what's funnier than myself to me if not my own sense of humor and the things that I say because I think, like, the reason I say things to be funny is because I think it's funny. So when I go back and, like, listen to myself and re-hear the jokes that I said, I'm like... I kind of chuckle a little bit to myself. <laughs> it might be weird, I don't know. Do other people do that? Who the fuck knows? I don't even know if some of the YouTubers out there watch their own videos when they edit them. They might just like, be like, okay, 15 minutes, chop it, upload it. Don't even watch their own video, don't add anything to it, don't add any pizzazz, they just toss it together as fast as possible, chop it off every 15 minutes, and then upload each part, and just keep the same description on every single part. Don't even, like, add a personal note in the description and, like, have six different links to, like, their Twitter, their YouTube, their 
other YouTube, their Facebook, their other social media, their Snapchat, and all this other shit. And I'm just like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Like, maybe you should focus a little more on the actual videos you're making and the quality of your videos and not, like, trying to be, be like, pretend like you're some super popular-ass YouTuber. Or, I don't know, it just, some, some YouTubers bother me, especially some of the more smaller YouTubers that are just, like, constantly commenting on other people's channels like hey you should come check out my video like no i don't want to come check out your video because i know you're just gonna fucking you just want me as another number you just need another subscriber i don't care about that kind of stuff dude chill out you're not getting a subscriber out of me unless i like your videos and more often than not the people who are asking for subscribers are the ones that i don't even like watching because they obviously put no effort into their videos i don't know man i'm raging I'm not really raging. Like I said, I'm just I'm just stating my opinion. Like it's just one of those things that I picked up on on YouTube is that a lot of people go for like the whole sub for sub thing like hey, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to your channel. What difference does it fucking make? You're going to subscribe to each other and then literally never watch each other's videos. Like that's so stupid to me. Like, why is it important for you to have subscribers that don't watch your videos? Like, what the fuck is the point of that? Isn't the point of subscribing to a channel because you like the content that that creator is making and you want to be notified when they upload a new video? Especially, like, video game people like me. Like, if you like my video, then maybe you would like to know when part 22 comes out because you just got done watching part 21. Something like that should be the reason you subscribe to somebody. Not because they ask you to subscribe to them and like their videos and go watch their videos and like be active on their channel like you shouldn't have to ask people to do that that should be something that they want to do because your content is good and because you interact with your audience really well but that's just my two cents and i don't know i think i feel like that's why a lot of people just kind of give up on youtube because they think like they're going to start making videos, they're going to ask a lot of people to subscribe to them and watch the videos, and then they're going to do really well, and then they're going to get like a bunch of shoutouts, and they're going to make it huge, and it doesn't happen in like a month, so they just quit making videos, or like give up, or get really discouraged. And it's like, that's not how it works. What do you think YouTube is? It's like, the reason I started YouTube is because I naturally thought thoughts to myself out loud, while I was playing a video game, so I was like, oh, why not record it and upload it to YouTube? Because sometimes I say funny shit, and maybe people will like that, you know? Who the fuck knows? So I started recording myself playing a video game, and I, that's it. That's all I did, <laughs> like, literally. And I just did a little, and then I was, I take pride in my work. So, like, I started doing research. I was like, what's a good recording program? What's a good, like, rendering program? What's all this bullshit? How do you edit videos? What's a good thing to do for your videos and stuff like that? And so I, like, did a lot of research and tried to find, like, the best possible way to record my videos and, like, the best quality possible so it looked really nice for the audience that I was trying to approach. And that's what's gotten me this far. Like, I feel like my videos are pretty damn good quality, especially, like, now that I tinkered with it today for, like, six hours. I took an even larger leap and fucking... I think the videos are going to come out a lot better now. Like, this is my first video recording it and rendering it with my new settings. And because it's Katamari Damacy, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference because this game doesn't really require a lot of quality anyways, like a lot of bitrate. We are at 200 meters, guys. Two-thirds of the way there. We're as big as 250,000 of whatever the fuck that was. A shark building? Dude, that was underwater. What the fuck? This isn't really the world. I, I wouldn't say this is the world. But it is, we're, we're pretty fucking big right now. And we still got eight fucking minutes. Wow, you can pick up whirlpools. Whirlpools are literally like two meters big. Can't get that giant octopus. But I just got an oil tankard. Somehow, some way, And an airplane. Can't get the giant squid. Oh, I just burped. I wonder if we'll be able to pick up the rainbow. Dude, you totally can pick up the rainbow. I just, I got a good feeling about it. <clears throat> oh, we're going to make this in no time. Got an anchor island. Another anchor island. I just want to pick up, like, these giant islands that used to be cities. And I just demolished them and ruined all the families that were living there. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to think about, too, in this game. Like, you are destroying these people's lives <laughs> at the... 
the cost of your own entertainment. Or at their cost of your entertainment. I, I don't even know how to word that properly. These anchor islands are huge, though. They're not as big as the whirlpools, which is weird. How are whirlpools bigger than islands? Is that like the island we started on? Or is that was this just an island that was like off in the distance? It got really foggy. Did I enter a cloud or something? I don't even know what's going on right now, man. All I know is, like, I'm pretty sure that's the island we started on over here. You know, I don't, I don't even know what the island. Oh my fucking god! I just literally picked up an entire island with a city on it. We are as big as 95,279,512. No stealing cow sign. Why would anybody steal a sign? I mean, a cow. What, what am I talking? Why would anybody steal a cow? And, like, broad fuck. Whoa, dude. We just picked up the Thunder God. <laughs> what? What? Oh, man. What the fuck? Okay, so back to my little my little rant like you can I can still argue with these people it's really expensive to put out high quality YouTube videos it really is you need a good graphics card and you need a good CPU in order to edit render and record videos in high quality it's just kind of the way it is it's an investment if you really want to put out like um, high quality YouTube videos an investment a lot of people aren't really willing to make but for me, because I'm just the type of person that takes pride in his work, um, I saw it as like, you know, as like a you gotta spend money to make money kind of thing. And yes, I did start my YouTube channel, not with the intention of making money, but with the possibility that it could, like, be a source of revenue later. And so I had, I was really comfortable investing, you know, what little money I had into buying like a good computer, which I needed anyways. So I figured, well, I'm buying a computer. I might as well make it a good one so I can play video games on it and record myself at the same time. Like it benefits me and the audience that my YouTube channel would have. So it wasn't really a big deal for me to, man, this is like the whole world is flat shit. Look at this, this whole world. We're in icebergs, man, but everything's flat. <laughs> This is the smallest world I've ever seen. Where are like the continents and stuff? I feel like there should be a continent. Because I think this is just... We're still in like Japan, technically. Holy fucking shit, dude. There's not going to be anything left once I'm done. Look at all these islands I have. Like, that's literally all that's on the outside of my, my Katamari right now. It's like clouds and islands. I get this giant mushroom. Extra, extra, extra large mushroom. But yeah, I guess it, YouTube really is an investment. It's something you should want to do long term. It's not something that you should be discouraged because you're not immediately making money or immediately like the most popular YouTuber out there. Like, it you should be doing this for fun. I feel like that's the whole point of YouTube. It's like you should be doing it for fun. You should be uploading videos, editing your videos, and uploading good quality content because you enjoy it, not because you expect to find money out of it. Like that's a terrible career plan. There's just so many people on YouTube, like, yeah, there's, you can dream about it, and it's always important to chase after your dreams, but, like, if you're just going to be discouraged by your dream career of YouTube after, like, a month of nobody really discovering you, and all you can do is, like, go on other people's channels and be like, hey, you should check out my videos, hey, you should subscribe to my channel, like, that's just not the way you should see it, like, you should see it as an opportunity to have an audience that is entertained by your videos like you should consider yourself an entertainer not a youtuber i think or um, maybe you don't want to be an entertainer maybe you want to be like a criticizer maybe you want to like critique things on youtube like whatever you want to do on youtube you should always do it because not only you want to do it out of your own whim and because you know you'll enjoy it but you should do it with the thought that you know your audience however small or big it is should enjoy what you're uploading and I feel like that's what's important for a lot of people to understand like a lot of people need to understand that we are fucking massive this is this is what I'm talking about like in the span of this like 20 minutes where we started at like three meters and now we're 800 meters that's what a lot of people see YouTube as an opportunity for like no your channel probably isn't gonna grow that fucking quick 
It'd be pretty cool if it did, but if everyone's channel got that big, then everybody's channel would still be small in the grand scheme of things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, this whole YouTube thing for me, I, I feel like this is a great speech to make at the end of the Katamari series too, because it's the end of a series. It's kind of like the same shit I did with the Dark Souls 2 series, but like it's like a mini rant kind of about my YouTube channel again, and like how I take a lot of pride in it, honestly. Um, I take a lot of pride in the videos that I upload, and you'll notice that recently I stopped making, putting like music at the end of my videos because literally those outros, I have to spend like an extra hour or so because I gotta find the right song, I have to make sure it's not copyrighted, and then I have to edit it into the video in a way that I like. And it, it was, um, it was a decision, it was a tough decision that I had to make. But I can easily be more motivated to put out videos, which is the main focus of my channel because it's a video game channel. Like, a game that's going to take like 60 parts. Even if I uploaded one part a day, that still takes 60 days, two months, just to upload one whole game. And so, if I spread that out over like, if I only upload once every three days, then that's like three times the amount of time that would take like 180 days that's way too fucking long dude that's like six months that's half a year for one fucking game so i decided it would be best for my channel if i just started focusing more on the gameplays and the commentary and just uploading the videos as often as i could and getting as many videos out there as possible for people to enjoy that's my mentality right now and that's probably the way it's going to stay for a while um you can probably tell i'm inspired by different youtubers by the way i commentate the way i edit my videos and that kind of thing Cryotic is a huge inspiration for me. Um, not only because he's a really fucking cool person, but I love the way he edits his videos. I love the effort he puts into his videos. And so I was like, you know, I might try that. I might try adding a song at the end of my videos. It's tough, man. It really is. Especially when you want to upload regularly, but you have like two part-time jobs and you're really busy and YouTube isn't your full-time job. So I decided as of now, um, I need to treat YouTube more as a side thing and just get the videos out there so that people can really enjoy the videos. And it's easier on me and it's easier on, it's probably better for you guys because especially the ones of you that enjoy the videos I put out, you probably are like waiting on the next part. And if I don't upload every day, it's kind of a waiting game and it probably gets a little, it's like, man, I wish he would upload his next video so I could see what happens next kind of thing. <laughs> Yeehaw! What about Yeehaw, man? What about America? It's floating, but it's not a dream. 870 meters, 87 centimeters, and 1 millimeter! Exclamation point! How supple this silhouette, this substantial heft. Oh yeah, we were only supposed to do 300 meters, and I got 870. Holy shit. This mellifluous mellifluous mood and the rising tide of familial love we are moved oh so fast what is that speed we can't handle it because i'm the fucking flash motherfucker we must split if we do not split we'll drop dead nature oh because the islands i guess when it gets this big it's hard to tell what you have the most of <laughs> my earth really does have a lot of things now at least the moon into the sky dude it's the fucking moon Holy shit, it's the fucking moon. The moon. 870 meters, 87 meters, and yada, yada, yada. And the island comet. Damn. We made the fucking moon and all the constellations and all the stars. We did everything. We are exhausted. Tell me about it, dude. This game was exhausting. <laughs> The sky is done. The sky is complete. Now don't fuck it up and break it in a week, alright? Phew, we are tired. Rolling a Katamari is very hard. You didn't even roll it, you butt munch. Wasn't it hard? Wasn't it? Well, it was hard for us as well. To watch it from the very the cosmos was very hard. So, so boring. Half asleep we were. Ah, uh, we can finally go home. Finally sleep in bed. Today will be a party day, especially since the prince is finally two centimeters tall. Hell yeah, dude, we're two centimeters tall. Cool. We must celebrate, mother. We need cake. We haven't even seen the mom yet, have we? I'm sure she's a beautiful woman, right? Whoa. 
The Dashing Prince. The great king of all cosmos. Beautiful queen of all. Oh, there she is. You get like a glimpse of her right there. <laughs> she was on the left. Those are some charismatic dance moves there, buddy. If I ever saw you dancing like that, I'd, my first thought would obviously not to be running away from you. Oh my god. <sighs> you, this, this one phrase in my head right now summarizes this entire game in two words. This game. And you can make that three words by saying this fucking game. <laughs> That's all I have to say right now. This fucking game, dude. Oh, it's so weird, but it's so much fun. Yes! We collected 1199 objects! And there's our house. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a big-ass moon. Hey, there's our cousins. That guy looks like a tennis ball. Whew, shit. This game's really fun. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh! There's the continents that I was hoping for. We're the moon. Like, this is the, the moon that we just made. I can't pick anything up. Oh shit, everything's too big to pick up. I have to start small. I wonder if you get like a super secret ending if you manage to get all the islands. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? What is going on right now? Go. Man, a lot of these fucking countries that I'm seeing pop up, I've never even heard of. Talk about lacking culture. <laughs> Man, this was one hell of a game. And I loved it. Is that Japan? It is Japan. I picked up Japan. Hell yeah. I'm from Japan. That's the only reason I knew it was Japan, because I know what the country looks like. Kind of looks like a boot. And it's an island, so... It's kind of tough to, like, aim this moon. Is that an island right here? Like, right at my feet? Tuvalu. It's like in the middle of fucking nowhere by itself. Unless I like picked up the islands around it and forgot about that one. Sorry if I did. I need Greenland. Oh, is that Africa? Or is this... Yeah, this is Africa. Definitely Africa. We're gonna get everything in Africa. I'm gonna try to anyways. Ah, uh, some of them are still too big. What's that? Sao Tome and Principe. I wonder if there's any, like, new countries that aren't in this game because it was made in, like, 2000-whatever. 2000-whatever obviously doesn't sound like a very far time because we are in the 2000-whatevers. Oh, there's an island right here I missed. It's not an island, but I missed it. It's going to be really difficult to make sure I get all the countries. I wish I knew what, like, number to shoot for, but it just gives me, like, the number of countries I've actually picked up and not, like, out of how many. Like, is that an island right there? Yeah, it was. Brazil! <laughs> Chile. Bolivia. Peru. Ecuador. Venezuela. Holy shit, I can't even keep up with this. We just picked up the fucking United States of America. Bloop, bloop. Uh, Dominican Republic. Dude, girls from the Dominican Republic I find incredibly attractive. Maybe not all of them. Like, obviously, there's outliers, and not, not every fucking girl from a country is, like, super attractive or anything. Like, not all Swedish girls are attractive, even though most of them are. Like, I'm, I'm definitely, like, a foreign guy. I mean, I'm foreign. I'm half. I'm half Japanese, half American. And so, like, I, um, I guess I find myself more attracted to foreign girls because I am, I'm foreign myself. Or maybe it's, it's just true that fucking foreign girls are more attractive. I, I don't know. We have 194. We're floating away though, so now it's like super fucking hard to tell if I have all of them. Oh, I definitely don't have that. Russia. What? Just picked up fucking Russia. There's one that I'm missing. Am I not missing one? No, we got all of them, because it says 195 with like a crown on top of it. So I think that means we got everything. We finished the game to 100% completion! Yeah! Yeah! 
yeah, the completionists. That was awesome. That was a great ending to a great wow. game. We all got rolled into <laughs> That's it. Ha 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 ha. That's it. Oh my god. Oh. We finished another game. Woo! That's always an accomplishment for me. Finishing a game, like a series for YouTube. I just feel so proud. Hope you guys feel proud for me. Or like proud of me. As your YouTuber. As the guy who's taking you into your entertaining, commentated video game journey. I must be proud when I finish a video game series. Because I'm sticking it out, man. I'm sticking it out. I told you guys I wasn't going to quit. I told you guys I was going to be doing this for the long run. I didn't lie to you guys. How many hours did we play this? No, I don't quit it. I want to see how many hours I played it. Oh, fuck. 19 hours. Damn. <clears throat> I think it's almost 20 hours to beat this game. It's almost a whole day. Woo! It was a pretty short game, though. And I know there's, like, beautiful Katamari, and, like, everyone loves Katamari, but I've never played those. This is the only one that i played. If you guys want me to play beautiful Katamari, and everybody loves Katamari, let me know. I might try to find an emulation for it, or, like, a ROM for it, and download it and play it. I, I don't know. I guess since I've never played those, they might be really, like, really super fun for me, because this one I've definitely played. But it's been so long since i played it that I don't even remember... Eternal number three? Eternal number one? Eternal number two? What is... What's that? Oh, the ending. Okay. So you can replay the ending to try to get all the countries, I guess. But yeah, that's... That's everything. There's nothing to do. Look at that moon. I can't... I'm trying to chase the moon, but I can't get it. No! I don't think you can actually get it. It just spins around the thing. Well, to the Moon Memorial? What is that? Oh, shit! Opening moon. Oh, you can, you can actually, like, look at all the cutscenes and stuff. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, shit. And you can sit here and listen to the songs. Da, na, 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 na. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Back to Earth. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this. I thought it was fucking great. I hope you guys think it's fucking great. I hope you guys want to play this game. Well, I mean, you just sat there and watched me play the entire game, so you know how it is. So maybe you don't want to play the game, but I hope you enjoyed it and feel the need not don't feel the need to have to play the game because if you did, that means I probably didn't play it well enough. And so it's probably a good thing that you got, you don't want to play the game after watching me play. I don't know. I'm, I'm the noob to this YouTube thing still, even though I have like over, uh, I don't know, like, what do I have now? Like 120 something videos on YouTube. I'm still learning though. Like I said, I was just fucking tinkering with my encoding software and recording software and rendering software to make like the best of all, best of everything I could. So you know, I'm still learning day to day, day in and day out. But yeah. I think I'm doing better. I think I'm doing much better than when I started. And I'm super happy about that. And very proud of myself. And again, I hope you guys are proud of me too. I love you all. Thanks for sticking around for this series. There will be more series. Um, I think I already have a game planned after this one. And I think um, I'm going to start... I think I'm going to start focusing on two games at the same time instead of three. Like right now, it was Katamari Damacy, Dead Space, and Lords of the Fallen. And Dead Space is almost done too. And then once Dead Space is done, I'm going to start uploading another series with Lords of the Fallen. And I'm just going to focus on those two games. Um, as a hint, the next series is going to be another Japanese GameCube game. Is it a GameCube game? Or is it PlayStation? I think it's GameCube. It's a Japanese GameCube game that was ported to America, just like this one. So stay tuned for that. We all know how crazy these fucking Japanese games can get. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And hope you guys like the series. See, I can't say and next time now because it's over. It's kind of sad, actually, that the series is over. But hey, thanks a lot. 
It really means a lot to me that you guys stuck out to the end. Or maybe you're just watching the ending because you want to know how the game ends. That's cool too. Fuck yeah, I don't care. Thanks for sticking around for the last ending. That cloud is making... Venn diagrams that look like butts. Oh, great. I'll see you guys later. In another series, perhaps. And hope you guys have an awesome day, night, evening, whatever the fuck you're doing. Hope it's great. And peace the fuck out.